Hi guys! So today I wanted to talk to you about quite an important topic and that's the importance of taking action and the understanding that both action and inaction have consequences equal, equal amount of them so if you don't take action you will regret it potentially because nothing actually happened with action you have a way higher chance on your investment correct so at the end of the year which one are you going to regret more taking action or no action at all um i've been a huge advocate in the last couple years for action taking because i've realized that there's nothing more precious than your time and wasting time is just that is wasting it away while you could be doing so much awesome stuff so usually inaction comes from the fear of failure and fear of failure most of the time comes from analysis paralysis and that's simply put overthinking when you put too much thought into something you already build up the whole picture in your head and it's bigger than life and you just like i'm just not gonna do it at all just too much you didn't even take any steps towards it and you were really already overwhelmed that's just a little tiny flaw that can be fixed quite easily so let's define what failure is first um, i think in a lot of people's um, heads failure is when you did something and it didn't work out right so you think that your boss is going to laugh at you, your colleagues are going to laugh at you, you're going to be feeling ashamed, embarrassed. And um, I don't think it ever actually happens most of the time past like middle school. <laughs> most of the time people will applaud you because you actually took steps towards your dream. You actually did something and that's what you actually can say. Hey, I did not fail. I tried. That's what I did. It just didn't work out. So what is the definition of failure? It's simply an outcome that was not initially intended by us. That's it. It's just a different outcome. Nothing else. That's it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It just wasn't what you planned on. That's that. That's just that. And that's okay. Most of the time, we don't really want things that we plan out. I'm just saying, sometimes we want things that we don't need. And we just thank God that some of the things didn't work out the way we wanted them to work out. Isn't that true? <laughs> so it's the same thing in everywhere. So there are usually two failures, professional and personal, that we're afraid of. So professionally speaking, there always seems to be a reason um, for things to be continuing going in a downward cycle when people hope for the best and think that it will work out and not taking action on time when all the signs are pointing at something that hey exclamation mark <laughs> and people go just, ah, it's okay it'll, it'll work out and Honestly, I think sometimes it's a little delusional and it might be not the most positive approach but honestly, professionally, I think a lot of people um, and again, maybe I'm just too negative about it but that's how I see things everyone is replaceable, guys in workplace, absolutely every single person is replaceable there's always somebody better coming <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just true and you can only work with yourself and what you can give in the moment and reinvent yourself if you can, if you must, if you may, if you need to. In business, this type of paralysis causes a lot of consequences specifically because you can miss opportunities, you can lose connections, you can monetarily have uh, losses because of it too, just because you didn't take the action on time, just because you decided it's okay, I'm just just gonna wait it out and it's, it's really not the best option ever to wait any kind of action is better than no action at all just remember that even the wrong direction is better than no direction to get out of the cycle 
of constant pity and excuses. The only way to get through it is to create change. Is to change. Take steps. Action of some kind, constructive action. When you open your eyes and you look at yourself with a true eye, I'm not sure what the, what the sentence is, when you don't allow yourself to come up with bullshit or another excuse of why later it's okay and vice versa. Because I personally noticed that for a few years before, I was so scared to post videos. I was so worried of what people are gonna say. I was so um, like just scared all the time. And when I would post the video, it would feel like the best thing ever. And when I didn't, that's when the anxiety started more and more. The longer I postponed taking action or recording a video or creating a video, working at least working on the next video, the worse my anxiety got because I was putting even more pressure on myself. Because now I didn't record for two weeks, now I have to outdo myself two times more and it will just continue building up and then at the end I see a lot of people just like the hell with it, I'm just not gonna come back I'm just not gonna do videos anymore that's it that's the end of the story and that's the worst thing <laughs> that you can ever do because literally if you would have just one time got anxious and got up instead of thinking about it more you just have to take one step okay so okay we decide I have to do my video it's decided and then just take that step and you work 30 minutes on maybe a script or a research of what scenario you want to play up or whatever it is just stick to it it will work out this way i'll give you some tips um at the end on how to build up towards taking the right steps okay okay so on the personal side when you feel like you need to make different life choices or different life changes and you overanalyze it and you put it away and wait on it or just forget about it for now. Uh, it can cause similar effects to business or professional cases, but it's more on the psychological level. So when you know you, for example, want to eat healthier, want to have a, a more frequent workout regime, Regimen. <laughs> Sorry. you want to find a better job you're depressed and you want to change in your life just any anything that you're working on right now and when you ignore it you're hurting only yourself because every time you ignore your own wishes what you know is good for you and you want it you need it with your core because your gut's telling you hey it doesn't feel right anymore. You felt uncomfortable a little bit. Maybe we should make change. And you don't make any change or don't even think about change. That's when the problems can start rolling in. And even though it might be not financial burdens, it could cause you a snowball effect eventually. In both levels of happiness, depression, um, family issues, or just, again, health. You can, you can really ruin your life by it. And I think sometimes we forget that by taking action, we see ourselves progressing, our confidence grows, it increases, it boosts with every small step that we take towards our goals. No matter how small it is, insignificant you think it is, it is a step towards it. It's an action. You will never regret it. So every time we do something good for ourselves we look in the mirror and you find out who you are a little bit more you learn who are you as a person every time you try something when you don't you rob yourself of that opportunity because there's nothing different you see there's not much growth happening if you're not taking again progressive steps towards bettering yourself or your life in some way so basically don't ignore your gut feeling <laughs> and um, 
don't ignore your inner voice. We all have it. We all know it. We all heard those excuses. We all have heard them. <laughs> we all have them. And hey, I'm guilty of it too. And there's quite a room for improvement in my life as well. I'm sure in yours as well. I know it. <laughs> so, but again, we all know that we can find time. We all know that if something is fun, we always find time for it, right? If there's a new movie on Netflix, there's no problem. We, we will find time for it, <laughs> right? So the same thing happens here. We also forget that sometimes by not making change in our life, we could be robbing somebody else of change too. Oftentimes by um, making steps towards bettering ourselves can cause a ripple effect and inspire other people. And by not doing anything, you literally rob those people off of that experience too. So not to make you feel guilty, but that's absolutely true. If one person doesn't start something, the other person doesn't pick up from that point and doesn't better themselves either. It's always an inspiration. We're all connected, you guys. We are more intuitive than we can imagine. We all have the gut feeling. And when you feel like something's not going right, it's probably not. So to nip it in the bud, you should just take hold of the situation. Look at it directly into the eye. Take action towards change or bettering it or fixing it, whatever it is, immediately. Even small steps help. Um, I know it seems very simple. It's hard to resist the self-pity hole <laughs> or again start to research and prepare instead of actually doing something. <laughs> it's very easy. <sighs> but just imagine how much growth, opportunity, progress you could be missing out on by not doing anything. Usually everything works like collateral, it just collects. So the more you expose yourself to something, even in small amounts, the bigger your portfolio grows, your library of thought, of knowledge in any um, branch of any walk of life, it only grows from there. If you don't give yourself that opportunity, it doesn't happen because you just don't have experience. And every every day you wait will cause you, cause you another week. Okay? So take action right now. The sooner you create the change, the faster and happier you will be. The sooner you'll reach your goal. That's as easy as that. So here are some tips that could potentially help you out. Start small. If you don't know where to start, if you don't know what to do, just break your goal into small bits and pieces, pieces if possible, and just take one minute of it a day and do just that, even that. If you feel like doing more after that, do more. If you don't, that's fine. You took one step towards it. Guess what? In 365 days, you will have 365 minutes accomplished. That's already something, even if it's one minute. Most of the time, if you start something with the thought that you will just take five minutes, okay, I'm just gonna just get it out of the way. You start it, most likely you will spend way more time doing that and actually progressing in it much further than you thought originally. But if you don't, you also allow yourself to be okay with it and just do small amount of work towards your progress. So start small. Try to do focused work and then relaxing rest. So focus on your work. Set a timer, whatever, 35 minutes, 30 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, whatever it is that you have available that you decided to uh, put towards your progress, towards your work, and just give it that time. No distractions. As soon as that alarm goes out or you look at the clock and the time's there, you stop you get up and you go have real fun, whatever that you want to do, dance, flip through Instagram, <laughs> whatever you want, full or relax, no work at all. But when you do focus work, you do focused work only. It's the most productive time when you just pour yourself into it 
and that's the best usually that's why most of the classes in school are like an hour long or so because that's the most you can give in a moment and then you need to rest instead of what ifs to what can i do so every time you start spiraling back into the negative space and you keep thinking oh my gosh what if something goes wrong what if this is not working out look how much work this is and just you find yourself in the just going into anxiety spiral or panicking just say stop just tell yourself cut it off what am i doing focus what can i do to improve not what can i think through <laughs> got it great so this might be a little disappointing but people don't really care about you i'm sorry honestly unless it's your loved one or your family member who actually cares about you and loves you and knows you for the most part people don't care i know sorry but not to feel self-centered or anything but truly people care about um what you make them feel they don't care what you look like most of the time it's mostly a projection if they do you want to bring value into people's lives and help them leave you with something extra but remember that people really have busy lives everyone has kids parents bills whatever their own problems constantly buzzing in their head they're all constantly in in their head all the time so thinking about you that thought that glances through their head is not that long and even if they didn't approve of something most likely had something to do with themselves and not with you necessarily you just your paths didn't cross the right way that's about it so don't feel disappointed hopefully it will help you get the courage to take action and realize that most things that you do in life are for you first if you truly enjoy what you're doing people will be inspired by it and they will flock to you and they will be attracted to you they will want to connect with you because it seems like you really love what you're doing so i hope that was more inspiring than disappointing <laughs> and fun stuff <sighs> if you're doing like a research paper or some kind of work you don't have to do it at home you can just go out and do it in the mall in the park just add something interesting and fun to your experience don't always do it in the same area also creatively helps you think when you are surrounded by a different situation <laughs> by different uh, surroundings so to change your surroundings is very important also turn on the music if you can listen to some more video in the background something more uplifting and easygoing that helps you survive the dreadful work time if it's a workout then you already know it blast that music girl just dance to the beat <laughs> you don't have to go pump iron in the gym you can just do zumba and it'll be just as fun so there's always an excuse but there's always a way out okay and then the last one i think is simple is to celebrate celebrate your wins all the time show yourself how how great you're doing pat yourself on the back often and say you know what i'm doing great i could have done nothing and i'm doing something so that's great okay so i hope it was helpful to you guys thank you for watching 